which will be following our isotopes. Hello and welcome to Chemistry with Lisa. Here we simplify chemistry for you just to upgrade your scores in chemistry. Today we have an exciting topic on isotopy and at the end of this class you have a set of questions to answer so as to assess your level of comprehension and achieve your grades. Please do well to subscribe to our channel, like, comment and share as well as invite your friends to do the same. So let's dive into the topic we have today. Basically, what is isotopy? It is the existence of elements having the same atomic number but different atomic mass. Another word for atomic mass is mass number. So elements that have the same atomic number but different mass number, that is an isotope. And the existence of it or the phenomenon is what we refer to as isotopy. So let's look at the second definition. Isotopes are atoms of the same elements having the same atomic number but different mass number. They have the same atomic number but different mass number. Now why do isotopes exist? Basically, isotopes exist as a result of differences in their neutrons. Differences in the number of their neutrons. This is why isotopy or this is why isotopes exist. Now let's look at the practical example. For example, you have oxygen 16, you have oxygen 17, you have oxygen 18. So if you are asked to find the protons, proton, neutron, and the electron, the proton will be 8, the neutron will be 16 minus 8, and the electron will also be 8. Please, if you have not watched our video on electronic configuration, kindly check the description box and the comment section. I will be dropping it there so that you will understand vividly how we achieve this proton, neutron, and electron very well. It was detailedly explained in that video. Now, look at this. The proton number is, the proton is 8, the neutron is 17 minus 8, 9, and the electron is also 8. Look at this. The proton is 8, the neutron is 18 minus 9. 18 minus 8, that will give us 10, and the electron is also 8. So let's look at the neutron number here. So you discover that in oxygen 16, the neutron number is 8. Oxygen 17, the neutron number is 9. Oxygen 18, the neutron number is 10. So due to the differences in the, in the number of the neutrons, that is why isotopes exist. Most elements exist as isotopes. And this is the major reason why mass number is not a whole number. For example, uh, the mass number of um, the mass number of oxygen is 16 point, I think so. So it's not a whole number because of the differences in the number of their neutrons. Now let's look at the various questions your examiner may ask you in your forthcoming exam. All right. So let's look at this. Now these are, remember, isotopes are atoms of the same elements. These are the same elements. They have the same atomic number and they have different atomic mass. Atomic mass. So these are isotopes. Let's look at this. The same atomic number but different atomic mass or mass number. And they are also the same elements. So this is what we refer to as isotopes. And the phenomenon is what we refer to as isotopy. Now let's look at the questions attached to this topic. Okay, so let's look at this question. An element X has two isotopes of 2010X and 2210X in the ratio of 1 is to 3. What is the relative atomic mass of X? It is very simple. Watch how I do that. Now, the first thing to do is to find the total ratio. Total ratio is equal to 1 plus 3. That will give us 4. 
Then the second thing to do is to multiply. Now, this is atomic mass of uh, the first one. So you say 20 times the ratio of this person is this. Why the ratio of this person is this? So 1 over 4 plus the second atomic mass, 22 times, what is the ratio of this person? 3. 3 over 4. So this 4 is the total ratio. Now, next thing is 20 times 1, 20 over 4, plus 22 times 3, that will give us 66 over 4. So let's solve the mathematics. All right, so let's solve 20 divided by 4, that will give us 5, plus 66 divided by 4, that will give us 16.5. So add up, that will give us 21.5. Five. So this is the relative atomic mass of X. Isn't that simple? All right, let's look at this question. The relative atomic mass of an element is 21.5. The two isotopes of the element are 2010X occurring 25% in nature and X10X occurring 75% in nature. Calculate X. So we are actually looking for X. Here. Now, let's solve. It is very simple. So the first thing to do is to find the total ratio. The total ratio is, this is, this is 25% and this is 75%. So 25 plus 75, that will give us 100%. That's the first thing. Then the second thing is to multiply the ratio by their atomic mass. So this is the atomic mass and this is the ratio. So what will it be? 20 times 25. The total is what? 100. Plus, we are looking for x here. So it will be x times, what is the percentage? 75. 75 over 100 is equal to, you were given that the relative atomic mass is 21.5. So what's the next thing to do? 20 times 25 will give us 500 over 100 plus this times this 75x over 100 is equal to 21.5. Isn't that simple? So you, have, you can solve it by dividing with your calculator or you simply divide using the usual 100 division. So this will be divide. 1, 2, it will give us 5. You can press it in your calculator, it will still give you 5. Then, plus, this will be 1, 2, 0 0.75x. So, 500 divided by 100 will give you 5. 75 divided by 100 will give you 0.75x is equal to 21.5. So, the next thing to do is to collect like terms together. So, you have that. 0.75x is equal to 21.5. This process, the sign of equality is minus. So you have that 0.75x is equal to 21.5 minus 5. That will give us 16.5. So divide both sides by 0 0.75. 0 0.75. This cancel out, this cancel out. So let's solve 16.5 divided by 0 0.75 that will give us 22 so 22 is the relative atomic mass of x okay so let's look at this question which of the following are isotopes isotopes have the same atomic number atomic number means proton number and different neutron number they have the same proton number they have the same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. So let's look at ones that have the same number of protons, because proton is atomic number. So this person has proton, the same proton, or the same atomic number. This and this has the same atomic number. Let's look at their neutron. This and this are different. So the following are isotopes. Q, 
and s because they have the same atomic number number of protons and different mass number let's look at this question an isotope has an atomic number of 17 and a mass number of 36 what is the proton and neutron number so the atomic number is same as proton number so proton is what 17 then neutron will be what we are given that the mass number is 36. The mass number is 36. So how do we get the number of neutrons from here? By subtracting 17. Remember, A. A is what? Atomic mass is equal to proton plus neutron. So if A is 36 and B is 17, what do you do? Subtract this from this and that will be what? 18. Isn't that simple? Next question. Okay, let's look at this question. An element F has isotope masses of 6 and 7. If the relative abundance is 1 to 12.5 respectively, what is the relative atomic mass of F? Very simple. Let's solve. So, an element F, it has an isotope mass of 6 and 7. So, the isotope mass of this person is 6 and the second one is what? 7. These are the isotope mass. Because the isotope mass talks about the atomic mass or the, or the mass number. Then, if the relative abundance is 1 to 12.5. So, these are the ratios. These two are ratios. So, let's find the total ratio. The total ratio will be 1 plus 12.5. That will give us 13.5. What is the relative atomic mass of X? So it's simple now to solve. So that will be, so this one is for six because it's respectfully. Respectfully means accordingly, the way they came. So this one is for six, 12.5 is for seven. So let's solve. So you have that one over total, which is 13.5 times six plus 12. 0.5 over 13.5 times 7. So let's press our calculator. That will be 6. 1 times 6, 6 over 13.5 plus. Then the next one is 12.5 times 7. 87.5 divided by 13.5. So you have that 6 divided by 13.5. That will give us 0 0.4444 plus 87.5 divided by 13.5. That will give us 6.481. So let's add up. 6.481 plus 0 0.444. Final answer will give us 6.925. So this is the answer. 6.925 is the relative atomic mass of x. Isn't that simple? Now, I'm going to give you the one you solve so that you can drop the answer in the comment section. Okay, so look at this question. Carbon has two isotopes with mass number 12 and 13. What is the relative atomic mass of carbon if the abundance is 99% and 1% respectfully? So I would like you to drop your answer in the comment section. Thank you for watching till the end. Please do well to subscribe to our channel. Also invite your friends to do the same. Thank you. Success in your exam. Bye.